The recently identified macadamia seed weevil, previously known as Sagastus weevil, has become a significant pest in macadamia orchards, particularly in the Northern Rivers region of New South Wales. New South Wales DPI data shows that if left unchecked, damage caused by this weevil can lead to total crop loss. Originally discovered in far north Queensland, the macadamia seed weevil was first seen in small numbers in the Danoon area in 2010. Its numbers and distribution have since increased to the point that many farms in the Northern Rivers region are now reporting high levels of infestation. To control the macadamia seed weevil, it is important to understand its life cycle. Adult female seed weevils lay their eggs in macadamia husk when the nut is pea-sized or around 10 millimetres. They then chew the nut stem, causing the nut to drop to the ground soon after. Young weevils develop in and subsequently emerge from the fallen nut. This process takes around 40 days at 25 degrees Celsius, or longer in cooler weather. Adult weevils can live for up to 300 days, with females laying from 20 to 40 eggs per week. Signs to look for in your orchard include distinct triangular shaped damage on green nuts at egg laying sites, scoring of mature nuts from chewing, in a pattern similar to that of a golf ball, five to 10 millimeter emergence holes, similar in appearance to rat damage, but with a smooth edge. As the larvae are well protected within the macadamia husk, orchard hygiene and appropriate timing of sprays is critical for effective control. Entomologist Craig Maddox and his colleagues have been researching appropriate control strategies. The problem that macadamia seed weevil poses is that it has a protected larvae. So inside the nut, it doesn't matter what you do in terms of applied sprays, you can't get at it. So it does effectively mean we have to remove that source of the population. So you've got a population of larvae developing through on out of season nut coming through in August, September. And then you've got the main wave that comes through again on the main crop in November. And both of those, once they're inside, you have to be able to remove that infected nut. If you can't, that's where the population boost comes from. And it can be a hundred fold. The worst damage we've seen around the places has been from orchards where the hygiene's been poor, doesn't matter what they put on, you've still got extra weevils coming out from sources within rather than outside in some places. Macadamia grower and consultant Steve McLean has seen firsthand that spraying alone won't effectively control the weevil. He encourages growers he works with to remove infected nuts to reduce the population of developing weevils. There's several methods for cleaning up in the, in the orchard. Uh, the most important thing is to get as many of the nuts out of the orchard as you can. If you have low levels and only in patches, it's quite easy to do it either by picking by hand or with a roller and that's quite effective and then take that away and remove it. Other ways are to harvest the nut or to sweep it out and to mulch it up. Achieving good spray coverage is important for effective control, but careful timing of sprays is also critical to ensure control as the new weevils emerge. Steve McLean encourages his growers to incubate nuts and monitor these to determine appropriate timing for sprays. We try and get approximately 30 samples of 10 nuts, which we inspect and, and cut open and have a look. And that's on a property of 20 hectares or, or perhaps about 5,000 trees. Once we've taken our samples and inspected some of them, we then like the grower to grow those samples out. Samples should be kept in a shaded area, similar to orchard floor conditions. It is important that you are ready to apply a spray when 30 to 50% of the weevils have emerged. While monitoring and orchard hygiene offer the best defence against the macadamia seed weevil at present, research is underway to investigate alternative control options. We're looking at softer chemistries where we can. We're looking at pheromones, attractants. We do know we've got compounds that the weevils are attracted to and we're able to manipulate populations that way. Certainly look at the variabasiana cultures and whether or not we can apply those to or minimise the infestation that overwinters. We're looking at um, phygastrid mites, also predatory on the overwintering pupae and larvae. They all have a role to play, but at the moment 
we do see the chemistry and the hygiene as being the most effective within a crop cycle this, at this point in time. With the recent granting of a minor use permit for Indoxacarb, growers now have another option for controlling macadamia seed weevil. Indoxacarb is designed to halt laying of the weevil's eggs, so apply when nuts are around 8 to 10 millimetres for best effect. Refer to the permit and label for further information. With no geographical limitations to the weevil's distribution, the best defence for growers in regions currently unaffected by macadamia seed weevil is to ensure effective on-farm biosecurity measures are followed, particularly when using machinery or plant material from affected regions. Removing uh, plant material from one farm to another is uh, a non-preferred practice. Uh, making sure that we leave all the samples of the seed weevil either on the farm or dispose of them and checking machinery and equipment and even ourselves uh, and perhaps the bikes that we ride around on to make sure that they are free from weevil and that we're not spreading to another farm. For fact sheets or more detailed information on the macadamia seed weevil, contact the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries.